My name's Jake Baker, and I'm a dungeon master from Melbourne. Okay, who's up next? Good day, sir. Might you be the army? Have you come to help? A dungeon master is the storyteller for our weekly Dungeons and Dragons game. If any harm should come to my goods, it shall be detracted from your pay. The dungeon master controls where you are, what happens, the monsters, the scenery, all of it comes together to try and make for the best game. You I've always been big into, you know, fantasy genre, Lord of the Rings type stuff. I've always found it really cool. Oh, no, no harm must come to me. Sardinius is not to be touched. I don't know how many other ninjas are gonna be dungeon masters or rat dads. So I've got three rats. They're good support pets. When you're done after a long day of training and you just wanna veg out, they'll do the same thing. I think rats get a really bad rap. They're actually really clean animals. They're extremely stealthy and they're really good at balance. So yeah, you know, maybe I could channel the rat vibes when I'm on the course. Ninja Warrior is an awesome chance to test myself. There's just this one moment in time where you can just be the best you can be. All that preparation just goes into one run on the course. Here he is, Jake Baker, big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. Plays all the time with little figures. Looks after his rats. All right, where's the rat? It's over there with uh, Lucky. He loves that rat, doesn't he? That one. Here we go. Anyway, never mind the rat, Jake. This is your time to shine on Australian Ninja Warrior. Come on, Jake. Look at the hop, skip, and jump through obstacle number one. Steps no problem, and look at the big bounce on the TikTok. And now exiting straight onto the net. I'll tell you what. He's off to a red-hot start. He's flying through, and now for the Bridge of Blades. Straight through, left, right, left, right, done. Three obstacles down in about 30 seconds. He's putting on a real show, Jake Baker, at pace, but this is a nightmare, the door knob drop. Such a tricky obstacle, this. Hanging onto them knobs, pulling your body up right to the top. Got to use every one of them. And now it drops down and all the weight goes through your shoulders, through your fingers. As you just transfer yourself onto the next of the arms. You can see now it's just starting to catch up with them a little bit. It's a fast time. Just starting to concentrate now. This is where the lactic acid will be burning in the arms. The forearms will be killing. The biceps, the shoulders, the fingers. Just got to keep moving. Has he got an up in the tank, Freddy? He drops down, hangs on, and for the first time tonight, we have a ninja through the doorknobs. This is incredible to watch, Ben. Where has he come from? Well, he's come from Melbourne, the 28-year-old, and he's the first ninja to take a look at the double squirrel. He's just got to find one more huge effort with those arms. Come on, Jake. Could Jake be one of our ninjas on the power tower tonight? But first, he's got these monkey bars and two squirrels sitting in front of him. The first one's the easy one. This next one, 3.6 metres, the gap. Will he land it? Will he stick it? I'm Come with on. him. I'm with him. I'm backing him in. I think he'll get there. He's going for it. Oh, he's, he's got, got it. it beautifully. 3.6, not a problem. And now for the walk wall. Yeah. This is world class. Jake Baker from Victoria says, here I come. Oh, yeah, he's done it. He gets up the warp wall. First attempt, like a rat up a drain pipe. And he's the first ninja up the warp wall in season four. <laughs>